I'm at the Jefferson County Library where I've been asked to talk about one book. And I am so pleased to be able to talk about Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. I think this is the best book I've read in 10 years. And I would describe it as historical fiction, except that it's so different from what we normally think of as historical fiction. For one thing, in writing about the Tudors and King Henry VIII, the author uses the kind of language when she writes dialogue that they actually spoke. And believe it or not, English wasn't very developed at that time. People weren't using pronouns, at least not very clearly or very well. And that's how she writes the dialogue. But once you see what she's doing, I found reading this book to be like what I imagine ice skating to be. I've never ice skated or maybe just gliding through the air. It's that fluid, that fluent, that smooth. I think it's wonderful that you can come to the Jefferson County Library and read a book like this that will truly, and maybe it's a cliche, but it truly will transport you to another place. A whole different take, a whole different look on Thomas Cromwell. He becomes the appealing character and Sir Thomas More is considerably less appealing, which is a different outlook on those two men than you get in other books about this period. Sir Thomas Cromwell is being written about with some fiction. Hilary Mantel is filling in the blanks that we don't know, but she does it so plausibly and so logically that the whole book is just totally believable. I think the thing I like best about the Jefferson County Library, maybe the staff, because these are people who live to help others. But then sometimes I think it's just the depth of resources at the library. You can get help in finding or applying for a job. You can get tax forms. You can get movies. You can get so much more than books or newspapers. Our genealogy department is something to be proud of. And so I guess in thinking about a profound book, and the depth of resources here at the library, then I have to say happy birthday to the library, which is winding up its 199th year. That may seem or sound impossible, but it's actually what we're doing in the library, beginning our third century. Come to the library. There's something here for you. Thank you.